Hello, welcome. Um, today we're going to be looking at um, how to install Steam for uh, PC Linux OS. Steam isn't directly supported, it's not in the repos. So, what I've done here, I've installed um, my PC Linux 22 into a virtual box. Uh, I've just run all the updates, and this is literally a fresh install. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so first we need to bring up the browser. <coughs> As you can see, it's absolutely brand new. And up here, we'll search for uh, Steam. Uh, again, apologies because my keyboard, I'm using an install uh, um, laptop. Okay, Steam, welcome to Steam, steampowered.com. Uh, to record this I'm using Vico screen so okay up here we got install steam install steam now and that should bring up with it a, a Debian file now uh, Peace Linux OS doesn't have dev files it runs RPM but there are ways around this as you will see uh, so we'll Download um, Steam, it says complete, and we'll close that. Now that would have gone into um, my download folders. Let's close in. Right, before I do anything else, I need to bring up Synaptic. Although I have updated, I have not installed the tools needed. So, anyway, we'll load up Synaptic. Now what we need to do is convert the dev file to an RPM and for that we need a program called Alien. So we'll search for Alien now. And there it is at the top. Uh, I'll just make that wider so you can see the description. Uh, install the means that for the RPM. So we'll install Alien and it needs to upgrade the package with it so we'll click apply and we'll click apply and let that download <coughs> and install my internet isn't too fast so things may be a bit quicker for you than it is for me doing this so we need to close that now we need to open up a terminal this really is a new install so okay so far so good now I need to su to root, so su, and I will use the dash so because I want to be in the root directory rather than my own. Uh, by root directory I mean forward slash root, the root use directory. So um, just input my um, thing here. Now I'm not sure the alien. <coughs> excuse me, I'm not sure of the alien uh, syntax. So. we have it here okay we have an option here that's here to rpm or dot r okay but first I need to do this cd for slash home present downloads and if I look in downloads I should have the steam dev there so I need to go alien oops alien dash r steam latest dev and I will press OK OK now as you can see here it, it wasn't in Synaptic as part of devs but it is now telling me I need RPM build command is not found this is not a problem at all um, we can search for it using a cache of course uh, search oops search I mean it's asking for RPM build so RPM it may be a part of another package it may not be but it's a good idea just to search through the repository and it's telling me that uh, auto build requires auto build RPM builder here's the RPM builder etc etc so I think the one that we need is the easy RPM builder so what we will do is 
we'll install that and get installed we don't do up to install do, there's no um, alias for update yet I, I should actually put one in the um, root version of the bash RC I think so anyway we need um, easy RPM builder so easy RPM builder I'm hoping this is the right package so we'll install that and it's telling me it needs to all install all of this but we will let it anyway it shouldn't take that long I hope here we go and it is done and now we will either rerun by going up to the uh, to the command I issued before and then I'll assume the uh, latest I'll get and here we go okay it's telling me that steam launcher 1.0 now we can install it and the way we install it is use apt get install steam I can't auto complete so I'm going to lock right here in full launcher 1.0.0.55-2 I won't need to put in the rest of that thing let's see if it allows me it probably say yeah confine package so I do have to push in the whole thing because so it's got no arch That's RPM. Now let's see if that will work. Now there we go. We have Steam Launcher installed. Okay, we can launch. We'll exit. Now there, as you can see, the taskbar down below is actually gone a bit freaky on me. So I'll wait until that clears up. And then we should be able to launch Steam see the hard disk is doing something on my laptop so something is happening oh there we go the menus have been generated anyway we'll exit out of this and if I am correct we should find possibly either in games yes it is there is steam there so we'll launch steam from there I take a while to load. I am in a VM. I gave it 4 gig of RAM now, so it shouldn't be that bad. I gave it 2 cores. And it is updating. Okay. As I said, my, um, <laughs> my internet speed is a bit slow, so what I will do is just pause it just for a second while well, this update and welcome back it's just doing the last couple of uh, kilobytes and it's extracted the package of course if any problems come up I will do it as if I was doing it live if any problems do occur so it's extracting the package initializing the update and I think the update may be complete I'm not sure but the RDC is doing something I was unpacking the steam runtime yeah, it's been all whole since I installed this on my own machine uh, previously so you'll have to bear with me Hope you bear with me. Okay, the artist seems to be doing something, I'm not sure what. And there we are, we have Steam up. He's now asking me to log in using an existing account or anything. So, um, I'll just pause the video a second just while I put my 
gauge hours in here welcome back and as you can see my um I'm now logged into Steam and it's now trying to log on to Finger. Yeah, I have one friend, that's actually my son. Um a logical port pi there, but that seems to be working. And I'm logged in, I can download um do new computer games. These are the games I have at the moment, so I I am not a big game player in any sense. <coughs> so I can Installed that, but it would take you played 81 minutes and no, I last played on uh, August the 2nd. The date is in the US date stamp rather than the uh, United Kingdom date stamp. So, if I go to install, it's great desktop icon, yeah. Install, yeah, it's So, it's where it wants to install. Click next. And it's creating local dev uh, files for the Megatron edition. I just love the Nukem 3D. Um, it's now downloading and I can just click finish. As you can see, it is um, downloading Steam. I'm not sure whether I can move anything over. No, I can't. But I assume it can tell me where. Somewhere. This is how good I am on Steam. I know nothing. I know nothing. Um. <laughs> I'm looking to see. I know for a fact there's a place where. Um uh, well, a few more steam library. A lot of steam library since before. That's what I'm in already, isn't it? What about if I double click there? Well I can either play or whatever, so it's gonna to launch to in approximately eight minutes. Anyway, as you can see Steam is up and running. It is downloading, um the game i probably won't let it download all the way so uh thanks for watching um as you can see it's uh zero one items complete so thanks for watching the uh, video if you like this video thumbs up if not thumbs down uh, either road is good to me really uh leave comments in the uh, comments below i'll be very interested to see what you think or hear what to think so uh, yeah thank you Goodbye and enjoy.